Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean. Today's date is July 31, 2022. New. In June, the, my equipment and my YouTube account went away. I have new equipment, a new YouTube account. This one. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. It's free, and if you subscribe, then you get notification of my new videos. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. This is episode 352, The Deep State Floods Kentucky. The U.S. military, and this uh, would be a portion of our beloved U.S. military who are taking orders from a shadow part of our government and a shadow part of our military inside Ukraine. It's the U.S. military who operated the HIMARS that bombed a... POW camp in Ukraine. So we'll get to it. I guess it looks like President Trump is coming back. And we say bring it, Father. So let's get started. Okay. And I'd like to say welcome back to all 50 states, including Alaska, Hawaii, the First Nations of Cherokee, Navajo, Hopi, Chickasaw, Mohawk, Apache, First Nation, Pitt River, California, Mohegans, Yakima Nation in Washington State, Potawatomi in the Midwest, Oklahoma, Ojibwe Nation in Northern Minnesota, Proud People Who Want Peace and Justice, Choctaw, Abenaki Tribe, Cheyenne, Massantucket, Pequot, Blackfoot in Montana, Spokane, Coville, Powhatan, Seminoles in Florida, Red Crow Tribe in Kentucky, Salt River Tribe in Arizona, and welcome back to the nations of Canada, England, France, Ireland, Philippines, South Africa, Netherlands, also called Holland, Indonesia, Scotland, Germany, Switzerland, New Zealand, Maldives, Nepal, Norway, Australia, Chile, Thailand, Belgium, Mexico, Brazil, Russia, Panama, Guam, a U.S. territory, Jamaica, Spain, uh, an Icelander living in Spain and other people in Spain. Wales in the UK, Sweden, Italy, Puerto Rico, a U.S. territory. Romania, Bermuda, Bahamas, British territories. Morocco, Argentina, Northern Marianas Island, a U.S. territory. Denmark, Bolivia, Uganda, Iceland, Serbia, Bulgaria, Mauritius, a small island nation off of Africa and the newest, Ukraine, Czech Republic, Poland, Costa Rica, uh, Malta, China, Hungary, Israel, and Finland. So let's get started. Okay. I have a Patriot subscriber who says, allegedly, all the militaries are being called home. Uh, and this includes NATO and the U.S. And uh, Russia has instructions to take the gloves off and hurry up in Ukraine and get that finished. And why? That's to bring in the Sara Jasara on a global basis. And we say, Father, bring it. Okay, I have a Patriot subscriber who's talking about the moon in Florida. On July 28th, still no moon. It's been gone since July 17. I've noticed in the last couple of years unusual things with the moon. I would come out uh, expecting to see it in one area of the sky and it would be somewhere else. I'm like, hmm, something's going on. I have a Patriot subscriber who says, Elena Danan wants an apology from Ishmael Perez, not Elena Kopolnik. Ishmael um, said something about uh, Elena uh, Danan and that she believes Inky is good. And Ishmael Perez says Inky is not good. He's aligned with AI. Okay. So now we'll get to uh, some of the news that has to do with what's going on in the world. And in sci-fi. And heads up. It's, okay. And this has to do with what's going on in Ukraine. Because we heard um, 
that Patriot subscriber who said, you know, all the militaries are being called to, to their home country. And I believe this may be happening, including NATO and the U.S., and that's to bring in Nasara Jassara. This will entail other things. And as I develop uh, this segment, you will see that the deep state is really lashing out in different ways. Okay. So now, Alexander Christoforo, he's a Greek journalist, is saying that Ukraine says they have intercepted phone calls. And this has to do about this hit. Here's uh, Russia. Here's Eastern Ukraine. We have Luhansk, Donetsk. So the POW camp was located in Donetsk. And it was bombed um, just a couple of days ago. And now scrambling. Ukraine is saying they've intercepted phone conversations between the Russians uh, regarding Russia bombing it. Now, the Donetsk People's Republic do not believe Russia did it. And so far we have 53 killed. All right, and the group with Ukraine who's saying they intercepted these phone calls is the Security Service of Ukraine, SSU. Now, this is going on, and Alexander Christoforo is bringing this out. Ukraine, the SSU, the Security Service of Ukraine, is claiming they have an eyewitness that was deep inside the Donetsk area, the Donetsk People's Republic that has a militia that's actively been uh, taking out uh, Ukraine military. Okay. And uh, this SSU in Ukraine is saying they have an eyewitness uh, that witnessed what was happening. And yet, uh, Alexander Christoforo is saying this area is 100% under the control of Russia. Now, the POWs uh, in the um, POW prison, Ukraine, mercenaries, Azov, say that they've been backstabbed by the Ukraine military who has tried to kill them. Now, Russia says they have fragments uh, that it was HIMARS that hit the POW camp. And we'll see uh, uh, Dr. William Mount is saying inside Ukraine it's only the U.S. military who is operating the HIMARS because the U.S. military will not give the software passwords to Ukraine. So we see that hit with the HIMARS on the POW camp inside Donetsk had to be perpetrated by the U.S. military who were there. And as I said, uh, the U.S. military is beloved by the U.S. people. But we know also, I think that was uh, Gene Decode and other sources, that the U.S. military has been infiltrated in yet. We could still have red-blooded American soldiers inside Ukraine who are taking, have to take these orders.
All right. Now, he's bringing out also Latvia. The story is coming out. So here is uh, Ukraine. We have Estonia. We have Latvia. We have Lithuania. So Latvia, for some reason, is saying, or this, this report came out. But we'll see, this most likely was a false report. So the report came out that this nation, Latvia, was going to require people from Belarus or Russia who were traveling through Latvia to sign a document that they did not support Russia's uh, military operation inside Ukraine. But... Uh, this doesn't appear to be true. Now, what does appear to be true regarding Latvia is Latvia had a, a leader of their government gas uh, contracts who said who made a public statement. Oh, Latvia is not buying Russian uh, gas via Gazprom. Instead, we're buying it from a third party. Now, Gazprom had, and Russia had put out uh, requirements that nations could not engage in sanctions and still buy Russian gas via a third party. So guess what? Since this leader came out of Latvia and made that public statement, uh, all Russian uh, gas from Gazprom has been cut off to this third party. So that's going on. Now, you have to have leaders that have a little bit of common sense, don't you? Okay. Also, another thing is a prisoner exchange. We had a conversation between Lavrov. He's the foreign minister of Russia. And Blinken, who we know as a representative of the puppet U.S. government regarding prisoner exchange. This had to do with Brittany Griner and a Paul Wieland. Now we understand that a Russia had asked for a individual called Bout and he's inside the U.S. But plus, this individual has been added. Victor Krosokov, who is Chicken. And he is being held in Germany. He assassinated a member, uh, I think that was Azov. Uh, a a leader of a group that had no it wasn't Azov it was it was he assassinated a leader of a group who had fought against Russia Chechen so it's believed now that the Chechen forces who are actively fighting inside Ukraine with the Russian military has asked also for this individual to be added for this prisoner exchange of Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan. So we'll see how that's going to go. I was surprised that there's prisoner exchange going on regarding Brittany Griner. Okay. Now... So we have this POW camp that was fired upon by the HIMARS and now Dr. William Mount. And, but there are other sources who are saying it was the U.S. military that actually launched the HIMARS. 
They killed 53. And this is 53 POWs plus 13 killed were uh, Dine uh, the Donetsk People's Republic citizens. They were employees there. Plus they wounded 75 others. And the Ukraine prisoners there are saying the Ukraine military stabbed them in the back. Yeah. And this happened about uh, Friday night, about midnight. Okay. Now, Ukraine is saying that Russia hit the POW camp to cover up torture or killing of prisoners of war, or maybe the private Wagner group uh, did this uh, with the approval of Russia. Now, the Russia uh, uh, Donetsk People's Republic is saying Ukraine hit the camp with American high marks, and Russia has fragments. And Russia just recently has invited in the UN and the Red Cross to examine the POW camp. And Ukraine is saying that, uh, I, I think Russia is saying this, that Ukraine hit the POW camp to send a message to the Ukraine military, no surrender. And, uh, and don't be giving out for the Ukraine uh, POWs. That's to give any information to Russia. And the evidence supports that Ukraine, U.S. military, did this. And now also Alexander Christopher is bringing this out. Statement by the Pentagon. The Pentagon and the U.S. military cannot confirm Russia did it. This was a statement by the U.S. military spokesperson, John Kirby. Okay. So now, we're back to uh, the New York uh, a New York Times story about a warehouse uh, being bombed. Oh, okay, no. New York Times is putting out a false story about the number of Russian casualties, saying it's 70,000 plus. But there are no, there's no evidence for this number. Okay. Now. So we're, we have this going on. We had 53 Ukraine uh, POWs killed and 13 of the Donetsk People's Republic uh, individuals, uh, citizens now of the Donetsk People's Republic, Slavic, Russian-speaking individuals who were killed and then 75 wounded by the U.S.-launched HIMAR inside Ukraine. So... That's going on. Now, we have this. The Russian media and Reuters, or Reuters, as some people call it, say that um, there are things going on that refute a statement saying uh, 80% of the Russian forces are de uh, demoralized inside Ukraine. And, and this is not, but, and that Russia has used up their ammunition and their troops. And this is going on inside Russia. This would be East Russia. We have Ukraine over here. Russia is going ahead with a large-scale military exercise that'll take place August 30 to September 5. So that refutes that Russia has used up their forces and ammo and no, 
Nothing could be further from the truth. Is Russia appearing to increase their activity level inside Ukraine that appears to be going on? Now, Alexander Christoforo is bringing this out, that Poland is going to buy 500 high Mars from the U.S. Now we have to ask the question, is the U.S. military going to turn over the software codes to Poland? Or does this mean that Poland buys the weapons, but the U.S. military continues to launch them? We don't know the answer to that. Okay, and Dr. William Mount, yeah, is saying this is a violation of the U Nuremberg Code, the Geneva Convention. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And that the U.S. military fired the HIMARS and they will not release the software information to Ukraine, to the Ukraine military. Now, we know also that the U.S. military had Ukraine sign documents that they would, the HIMARS would not be used to launch into Russia. Apparently, the U.S. military wants to avoid some types of activities. Okay. Now, military summary is bringing this out. That, here's our map. Here's the Hans Donosk. That POW camp was right about here. And we have this front line. We have Odessa, Kherson. We have Crimea. Kiev is up here. We have Poland. Slovakia just barely touches. We have Hungary. Romania. Moldova. Okay. We have a lot of nations involved. Now, in this area, in North, North Donetsk, Russia is advancing, and they're, they're moving northwest, so somewhat in this area. Russia is advancing. Now, for Ukraine forces, they had the 54th and the 66th that have been uh, devastated by Russia. Ukraine sent out a brigade called the First President Brigade. And it was to, to Bakhmut. Bakhmut is right about here. Bakhmut. So this First Presidential Brigade was sent to Bakhmut, and uh, Russia killed 140 and wounded 250 and destroyed all armored vehicles. So the reinforcement of Bakhmut by Ukraine has collapsed. Now, uh, Ukraine... Russia has taken out in the last 24 hours the 72nd Ukraine Brigade, destroyed their headquarters. The 13th Brigade of Ukraine is no longer seen anywhere. And the 110th Ukraine Brigade, 30 have been killed. That was in North Donetsk. And the Kraken um, group of Ukraine, which is an Azov group that... Uh, actively uh, captured a Russian POWs, tortured and murdered them. 30 of those have been killed. Yeah. So now military summary is saying that the 72nd Ukraine Brigade has been seriously uh, taken down by Russia and that the 13th Brigade is gone. Okay. Russia is moving this way, south, and they are uh, moving in multiple directions. Now, this is new information that, let me get this, 
and I was surprised about this. Ukraine apparently still controls... Let's see, that's Romania. In this area, north in North Donetsk, Ukraine is in control. And Ukraine wants to force evacuation of Slavic Russian speaking people. 220,000, that includes 60,000 children. They want to force evacuate them from this area, North Donetsk, toward the front line. And for reasons that are unknown. Now, other uh, sources are saying that it is likely that Ukraine will completely surrender all of Ukraine within the next four weeks. Okay. All right. Now, this forced evacuation, they want to do it here uh, in the North Donetsk area and also in Zaporozhia. And Alexander Christofaro says pictures show in Zaporozhia people, long lines of people driving toward the part of Zaporozhia that's controlled by Russia. So apparently part of Zaporozhia is still controlled by the Ukraine military. And the Ukraine military is in control of some area of North Donetsk still. So that's going on with, and we see Russia now pouring in troops and uh, uh, weapons and moving forward towards securing all of Ukraine. And we saw in that last video I did, several people have brought forth maps. You, Russia will take all of Ukraine. Uh, Kiev will remain as Ukraine. And then Poland, uh, Hungary, and Romania will also take a part. So we saw that. Let's move on now to sci-fi. Israeli News Live, Stephen Benoon, formerly with the CIA, now has the ministry, regularly gets updates from the Pentagon. It's talking about the Pentagon. It's putting out the information that the Queen, Elizabeth of England, is a reptile. And this is accurate information, I'll show you. We've heard for, you know, throughout history, oh, the royals have divine blood and we're entitled to rule. So from the Bible, we have fallen angels mating with humans. They made a hybrid, the Nephilim. And yes, based on their, their blood, they can do some things like shapeshift. Plus, now they don't have any energy, so they have to consume humans to get energy. And uh, Queen Elizabeth was part of the royals who regularly went to Canada and the U.S. to the First Nation tribes. And this has been verified by my contacts within several uh, First Nation tribes that this happened, but there are other sources, and they would have, they would go into the First Nation reservations, kidnap these uh, young humans, strip them, and then have them run through the forest, while the royal reptiles rode on horses with dogs and tracked them down. Then they would capture them and consume them. That's accurate information. Now, just uh, though what's important here is that the Pentagon is putting this information out and coming forward with, yes, Queen Elizabeth is a reptile, and we know that Princess Diana had made a statement 
Yeah, she said they're all lizards, and she had seen them shapeshift. Um, while the flesh and blood queen uh, was executed, we understand, in Gitmo in 2019, along with a, a lot of other people, and that Buckingham Palace, the underground areas have been cleaned, and that Buckingham Palace is on the list of 34 satanic sites to be taken out, including the White House and the Vatican. Okay. So now, Stephen Benoon is also bringing this out about this celestial event and something affecting the Earth. Uh, many people are calling this Planet X. That's just a name assigned. And that's supposed to come in like 2019, 2030. Now, Stephen says, if you live within 200 miles of a coastline, you may want to think about moving. And he's saying they're coming in with reptiles, Anunnaki, these are like fallen angels for a lot of us, and that the Pentagon has some people who regularly interface with ETs who are on the earth, uh, Dracos, Greys, reptiles. And these reptiles say, our cousins are coming back for a visit. And they're also tied up with AI. So, yeah, that's going on. Now, Stephen is saying, with, uh, in my last report, that information came from Mike from around the world, that Antarctica was melting, was going to raise the ocean levels 15 feet in 12 hours. And Stephen confirms that Antarctica has melting areas. And when they melt, they're going to reveal quantum technology. And he's revealing, didn't we guess it? There's a real Jurassic Park located off of Brazil. I have come to the conclusion recently that... A lot of the sci-fi movies we watch are based on real activities. And we had that report from uh, James Rink, Super Soldier Talk. He interviewed Jimmy Payne, who revealed that uh, the movie Alien and the movie Predator were, were uh, based on real events. And other movies that come out uh, sci-fi of being real. So... Yeah, that's going on. Let's move ahead to Heads Up. Now we saw, um, just in the past few days, that flooding in uh, Kentucky. And we have Kentucky. This was the east part. We have West Virginia right here. In the Appalachia part. That happened Wednesday night about midnight. So far on Friday, they had 16 dead, hundreds missing. The Kentucky Governor Bashur said it was the worst in the state's history. Roads were washed out. The current is still too strong for water rescue. And in South, uh, in this Appalachia area, uh, they had, in 24 hours, 8 inches of rain plus, or 20 centimeters of rain. And the North Fork of the Kentucky River at Whiteburg went up 20 feet, or 6 meters, within hours. Now, Mike from around the world on the last uh, Paul Bagley show intimated that the deep state had flooded Kentucky and this would also uh, lap over into West Virginia so uh, with the purpose of taking out hidden US military weapons 
Now, we know the deep state has had a lot of their equipment taken away by the White Hats, but apparently they still have some simple forms of weather modification. So, that's going on. The deep state is flooding Kentucky and West Virginia to destroy military equipment by the U.S. military that's hidden there. And we don't know what's hidden there. Okay, suspicious observers, a science-based space weather program, is talking about the sun. So we know we can, we're going to have increased radiation. That's because the electromagnetic shield around the earth has been going down for decades. And in some areas in that South Atlantic anomaly, it's almost down to the surface. All right. So now this radiation has been measured uh, by a study by the uh, U.S. Uh, vet, uh, vets. Did a study from 1999 to 2013 that 752 males, average age 75, who came in for smoking and other lung issues. So over this period of time, about 14 years, they would routinely come in. The uh, U.S. vet program would measure their lung capacity and how they were breathing. Part of the study also included what was the reaction to radiation going on. And this took place in the Boston area, but the monitors in that state and some surrounding states was included. So it looks like a, a good, good study. Now, yes, they did associate increased radiation in the air whether from the sun or from uh, plants impacting um, the individuals. Uh, and Ben Davidson was suspicious observer says, yes, this change in the sun is going to affect skin and organs, especially the brain, endothelial areas with inflammation. Now, the endothelial function in the human um, body. These are cells that are associated with blood and they uh, make hormones, they maintain blood pressure, they carry chemical message and they prevent inflammation. So the radiation from the sun then can impact all of these things and bring about heart attacks. So that is just one study that is supporting this increased radiation and what would be the impact on humans. So yeah, and we know and I've seen for many years people who routinely work outside. Yeah, they have on uh, caps and masks and long sleeves and long pants and covered up. So maybe that, that's a good way to think about things. Okay, so now look ahead. This is Judy Byington and also Israeli News Live Stephen Benin will be bringing out some information. Okay, now uh, Judy is also talking about Queen Elizabeth. Soon we'll have an announcement that she's going to give up the throne. I submit to you that correlates with the release of information from the Pentagon that Queen Elizabeth is a reptile. Okay, the Queen is dead. Now the, uh, right, we have three centers and it's been my belief I know that a lot of people believe the one world government was in the future I believed it's now and has been for decades. And 
the way in which Judy Byington is putting forth information. One World Government. Finance was controlled by the City of London, religion by the Vatican, the military part by Washington, D.C., and they have obelisk at all three locations. And we know all three of these locations are on the list of 34 satanic uh, sites to be taken down by the White Hats. Okay. Now, Judy Byington is bringing this out. So the puppet actor, J.B. Out, K-H-N, but there's a big question mark about her birth history. Okay, but all these changes, Judy is putting forth, the Queen is dead, London Bridge is falling down, plus by the end of August. And we say, bring it, Father. Okay, Stephen Benoon, Israeli News Live, is saying President Trump back soon, August. So, that sounds good. Let's have a short prayer. Okay, this is a cleansing prayer modeled by Jean Decode. We remove permission to be on us, in us, around us, on earth, off world, any dimension, any person, place, or thing, not of God, any assemblage of fallen angels, AI, nanobot, and other forms of tech, any non-terrestrial species, spirit, thought form, operating system, genetic overlay, past, present, and future. That's right. We say get away from us in the name of Jesus, who many call Yeshua. This prayer is based on the Passion Translation, Psalm 6768. The name of it is Send Us Out. Send us out, O Lord, everywhere to proclaim your name, Yahweh, and your power to save. Let all the nations burst forth with praise for Yahweh, commander of the angel armies, and our Father God, King. You, our God, Father, creator of all, is also the shepherd of all nations, all peoples, and all universes. You alone, Yahweh, are preeminent and the preeminent creator God of all. The harvest of the earth is here. Our creator God, King Yahweh, brings uh, to us, his people, banquet tables of blessings, and the blessings keep coming. And we say, Father God, King, arise in your power. Scatter and vaporize all enemies of your sons and daughters on earth and across all time and space. Blow our enemies away as a puff of smoke. Melt them in fire and make them vanish. Let your people, O God, Yahweh, be filled with joy. And we welcome our Creator, God, King. And we say thank you, Father, Son, Jesus, whom many call Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and He is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.